Thank you, Rosa. And thank you for the invitation as well. And congratulations for this nice, uh, young, enthusiastic organizer team and volunteers. And thank you for you staying with us at this late hour. So yesterday evening, I realized that I have only 15 minutes, and I have much more slides. I cut them, the, the number of them, but even in this case, I have more. So I, I will be quick, but I will give you the slides, and you can check later. <laughs> so uh, in the Hungarian Williams Syndrome Association, we also uh, encountered uh, our usual problems that uh, we need to do something with our uh, more and more adult uh, children. Because they, uh, several uh, finished the school and there is a lack of adapted housing services or other social services for adults, not like in France. We also have similar, but the capacity is not, not enough. <clears throat> and there is lack of workplaces. Uh, and we, we need to solve these problems with what will happen with our children after us. Therefore, we needed to make some steps for the youth future. <clears throat> and we decided some, the initiation, some independent life programs. Uh, first was the, the wing test uh, camps to try the wings, and uh, uh, later the living the nest project, which was more complex, uh, thanks to uh, uh, Norwegian funds. And the goal of the programs was to prepare the young adults, including the families, <clears throat> to have their own independent life and work. We organized these uh, three special camps. The first two were one week long each as the first step, and the last one uh, was two week uh, long. <clears throat> Another goal was to form strategic partnership with the participants' local services for better cares. So uh, during the first uh, projects, we wanted to collect all of these kind of experiences and uh, we wanted to improve the self-confidence and the self-sufficiency of our participants, obviously have a lot of fun, and also to give a new perspective for the parents. And the elements uh, was, uh, this was only a four months long project. Uh, but we were lucky to visit the Frambu centers. This is one of the first in the world, uh, the famous rare disease uh, center in Norway. And we collected the participants. We organized participations. We uh, organized the two uh, camps uh, with an open day of each. The last day was uh, open day for the parents and, and other experts. We created a film also about the experiences and organized a closing conference together with a media campaign. <clears throat> and uh, the principles was that uh, we needed to teach first our children to work because generally uh, these are, uh, they are coming from the families and we, the parents, are willing to oversave them uh, it's very difficult to find the balance between saving and oversaving or less saving, uh, even in the case of a healthy kid. But in case of a handicapped kids, it's nearly impossible. So therefore, we needed to teach the parents as well. We tried to manage not uh, a very strict daily routine, but they needed to work alone with uh, as less as possible help. <clears throat> and the other new things, poor William syndrome uh, people, they needed to handle money. And we tried to create a situation where they could experience the real value of it. So they needed to pay for the accommodation, for the food, and so on. And try to spare money for other goals. 
<clears throat> and we have good relationship with the local people, and we were uh, able to form a real community, and uh, uh, used to be uh, as flexible as uh, possible, uh, because we wanted to uh, make them their, uh, the campus participation uh, creative. And we needed to, try to help the parents because it was a really hard situation for them. And finally, fortunately, everybody uh, was proud of, of him or her <laughs> self. Uh, so it was special. We organizing, I think, more than 17 years, the yearly big summer camps for 150 people. And uh, generally, it, it, uh, they have more fun uh, at the camps. But here, they needed to work as well, so not just for fun, and got the salary according to a contract. So first they needed to understand the contract, then undersign it. <clears throat> and they needed to practice the independent living, so <clears throat> with, with a little help. And several of them was the, the first time without the parents. Or summer camps are generally family camps. And uh, there was no TV, no computer, no mobile phone. So uh, they needed to spend a lot of time together. But at the same time, together they wrote an internet blog about their daily life. So everybody uh, was able to follow what happened that day. And it was a nice teamwork. <clears throat> so they worked in the farm. Uh, with different animals, and in the garden, and also in the kitchen. And they did some handcrafted yeah. too. And there were three groups, so we changed the activities every day, so everybody could try everything. <clears throat> the management, the independent life, uh, was difficult, obviously. The self-sufficiency as well, so they needed to clean in their room, the clothing, the bathing, except the uh, medicines. And they needed to deal with the salary and the cost uh, of different things. And uh, they tried to spare money for the city programs, but somebody spent it immediately. And in this case, it was hard because all the others have money except he or she. <clears throat> and in the town, they went together to the post office, uh, to different shops, and they needed to, to work like every other people. They went together to swimming pool, to marketplace, restaurant, church, and so on, they, and they needed to, to buy the tickets. <clears throat> and they have several other uh, fun activities like ho horse riding, ar archery, uh, the several uh, free time for relax. Uh, but there was also a serious part because they have some kind of club uh, about social skills and competencies uh, like work or money and economy or love and friendship. And that's proved to be very difficult to speak about for them. And we together, and, uh, and they, uh, learned that the friendship and helping to each other is really important, that they can do many things without the parents, and they are able to work, even with animals. And getting over on their fears is possible. So therefore, uh, <coughs> oh, some additional uh, conclusion from the organizer viewpoints that their inner motivation and self-confidence really grow, uh, grew during this uh, even short period. Uh, they became the facilitators of the programs. And uh, they didn't miss their parents so much. <laughs> and they were able to make a perfect job. With, with help, even with the, uh, in a farm. 
And uh, everybody wanted to, to go back. Gabo, and five minutes. The, that's my problem. <laughs> and they really uh, became proud. And, uh, and the uh, parents were uh, sometimes or often surprised that their kids uh, are able to do so many things. But the problem was that these new skills uh, were not, uh, they were not able to implement home because in the city we have no farm, so <laughs> we needed another type of uh, uh, program, and therefore we started the Living the Nest project. And uh, we wanted to develop further the independence and social activity, and therefore we figured out uh, that we will establish an event organizer team. So we were thinking about a lot that oh, what kind of work would be good for or talkative, hypersocial, but sometimes very lazy children, and, and that proved to be good. So that, that was a complex program of 16 months, and we prepared a handbook also for other organizations at the end. We established a homepage and Facebook page. Uh, this Facebook page was uh, interesting because we applied the method what we learned uh, we introduced a video for some homework, and then they uh, mm, tried to do it at home, and they created another video, and everything was published on the Facebook, so they could learn from each other also, and they were very proud of their video. And uh, on the long term, we, we tried to turn it into a for-profit enterprise. And we wanted to support uh, living in a community also. The target groups was, again, the young people, uh, but now more emphasis on the families and the general uh, society. Uh, and we have the independent living training with an emphasis on event organizations, so they needed to learn the public transportation, shopping, making plans, for an event, and so on. We have this uh, Facebook page, as I told you, and we have the independent life camp when younger children with VS were there, and uh, they uh, became the mentor of the youngsters <clears throat> during this. And we contacted uh, several other uh, organizations as possible uh, workplace. And the other side was now, which it was new, the parent training. And it was held by psychologists. And we wanted to teach the parents to, to be supported, but not strong controlled uh, thinking and behavior concerning the autonomy of their child. And we have also a workshops, a three days programs, and a closing conference again and uh, the publications. And the training uh, contains, uh, contained four modules. Uh, the independent living and householding self-care part was similar to the first phase, but now we have the communication part, the event organization, learning uh, system, and uh, learning about the rights and obligations because uh, it was very easy for everybody to learn the rights, and they wanted to forget about the obligations, so we needed to teach them that there, there is a balance and you have rights if you uh, did your obligations as well. We visited different catering uh, firms and organizer places, and finally they organized or participated in the organization of five events, New Year's party, and so on and so on. <clears throat> so uh, it was a success from the uh, parent side as well. And these uh, five successful events was really organized. The, the young people enjoyed uh, every minute. Uh, and uh, the, the involvation, the activity, the responsible thinking, and the independent behavior increased. 
and the world became an acceptable activity for them. We have difficulties, obviously, because this was a more complicated uh, situation, and we have a different, uh, I will finish, <laughs> uh, uh, different groups with different disabilities, and so we need to create smaller groups, and therefore we need more time. The parent side was also good, and here are some pictures about the events and some links where you can uh, find the uh, or or YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel. You can find several uh, films which was created. Okay, and that's it. So thank you for your attention. Wait. I was yeah. good. <laughs> Muchas gracias.